Hello, my divine kings and queens. I'm back to do another video and quick, quick message. God is coming through and telling you there is no limit on my power. There is no limit on my power in the things that I can do for you. So stop putting limits on the things that you feel that you are able to do because there is no limit on my power and what I will enable you to do your capabilities your knowledge, your skill set. Take the time to continue to hone your craft and put in that work because whatever it is that you set your mind to, God is giving you that green thumb. God is giving you that green thumb so that no matter what you touch, no matter what you do, it will always be blessed because some of you have to understand you're not where you used to be. You've come a mighty long way. You went and overcame a lot of situations um, that people had placed you in. You overcame your trials and tribulations. You were able to understand why you went through the things that you went through. And so the thing is for some of you, um, you were just placed in certain situations where a lot of people was doubting you and didn't believe in you. And see, the thing about that, what I tell you is sometimes it takes you having to move somewhere. See, a lot of y'all, sometimes you afraid to or afraid to get out of your current situation and just take a leap of faith. But you won't even understand that all it took was you having to take that leap. And you didn't even understand that all those opportunities was going to be waiting for you. So whereas you had these doubts about being homeless, you had these doubts of being a failure, you had these doubts that things wasn't going to work out for you. God is saying, stop putting a limit on my power. And all you got to do is just be focused on what I need you to be focused on. When I tell you to move, move, because you don't even understand that as soon as you take that leap and you make that move, there's endless possibilities and opportunities that's waiting for you. Sometimes it takes you having to get away from what you're what what you're um accustomed to, what you're used to. And see, the thing is, I had woke up early this morning, like four o'clock this morning. I was just didn't understand why. It's like I was so anxious as if like something was happening, like and I had to get on my knees and I had to pray. And immediately, it's like God was coming to me and telling me, calm down, calm down, calm down, because you're, there, there are things that you are worried about. Before I continue, there's things that you're worried about that you're anxious about. And the thing is, you have to calm down because God didn't bring you this far to leave you. He didn't bring you this far to fail you. See, some of you have taken that leap or you're afraid to take that leap because you don't know what's waiting for you on the other end. Some of you fear the unknown and God is trying to get you out of that place or out of that mindset of fearing the unknown and just being able to take that leap when he tells you to take that leap. So I was anxious or whatever and then I ended up praying and I ended up going back to bed. And this dream that I had, it was like, I was in this, you know, pasture, green pasture, and I was with my puppy, I was with Jay, and we was just running, 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 um, playing, playing, and immediately, like, I ended up passing out. And when I passed out or whatever, um, I was in another dimension, like another phase. So I was already dreaming, and I went to another phase, and in this phase, it's like there was a darkness that was surrounding me. And in this period, like nothing was going good. I didn't even have my puppy with me at this time. And so I knew immediately I need to get up and pray because I knew that was the devil trying to attack my mind to make me feel like God was like things wasn't going to work out for me or things bad things was going to start happening. So immediately when I closed my eyes and I started praying, that darkness left me. And then I ended up being pulled back to the greener pastures where Jade was. Now, when I got back here before, initially there wasn't a house, but when I got back, there was a house, there was this, you know, fence, picket fence. There was a pool. There was things that weren't there before. And I was just like, I didn't have these things before. I didn't pray for these things before. And I ended up going in the house and there was just like, 
everything that I had said that I wrote down, like I said, of having like the way that I wanted my kitchen, like everything, everything. You guys don't know this, but it was this is what I was seeing. Everything that I had envisioned, how I wanted my house to look and everything like that, it was there. And my phone was just ringing off the hook. And when I picked up the phone, it was like, you have a new client, I'm a new client, I'm a new client, I have this, this, that, and the third. And I just started crying because I knew what that dream meant. I knew what that dream meant. And that dream was pretty much like, and so that dream was pretty much letting me know that everything that I prayed to God for, that he is delivering to me. And that the part where I told you there are going to be times where right before God bless you, right? The devil will try to attack your mind and send agents in to distract you and to detour you and to try to defeat you and cause you to doubt yourself and not have faith in the things that God said that he was going to bring your way. So God is saying, listen, just trust in him because once you get, once he bring you on that elevator and once you get on that elevator, there's nowhere to go but up. Nobody's going to keep you down. Nobody's going to bring you down. Nobody's going to keep you stuck. It's not going to happen anymore. So trust in him, put your faith in him, let him guide you. Because he's telling you, there's no limit on my power and the things that I'll do for you. There is no limit. Because once I step in and I intervene on your behalf and I work on your behalf, I'm blessing you. I'm guiding you. I'm loving you. I'm taking you to the top spot. I'm taking you to the penthouse level. There is no limit on my power and the things that I do for you. I don't care where you came from. I don't care what you've done. When I step in and I intervene and I say that it's time, there's no way for you to go but up. The sky is the limit for you. Stop putting the limit on God's power because he, is, he has his hand in your life. He has his hand and he is working his supernatural power in your life to ensure that you receive everything that you ever cried and prayed out to him for. He is letting you know once you step on that elevator, there is no limit. There is no numbers. There is no buttons because there is no limit on what level he's going to bring you to. So all you have to do is put your faith and trust in him and let him guide you and let him take you to where it is that he wants you to be, baby. And he's saying where you going is top spot, penthouse level, unlimited success. Trust in him. Watch what he do.